A zebra that is a bat by Isha Pai Kutava, by illustrated by Anna Burrock. Zeno was a zebra and like any other with while all the others stood in their herd munching on the grass Zeno loved nothing more than wearing his big black cape and pretending to be a bat. He squeaked like a bat and flapped his wings like a bat. He even hung upside down like a bat. In fact, he spent so much time in his bat cape, he sometimes forgot he was a zebra. His parents thought it was odd, and his friend thought it was a bit funny, but as long as Zeno was happy, they didn't mind at all. But one day, when the zebras were munching and Zeno was hanging in his tree, a new zebra arrived in the herd. He took one look at Zeno and asked loudly, What's wrong with you? You're not a bat. Why are you acting so weird? No one had ever said that to Zeno before. Was there something wrong with him? He got down from the tree and looked into the watering hole. His face reflected back at him. It was true. He wasn't a bat. He was a zebra just like everyone else. That night, when he tried to hang upside down to sleep, the branches broke and Zeno fell to the ground with a crash. Maybe the new zebra was right. Maybe he should start acting like the others. For the first time, in what felt like forever, Zeno took off his bat cape. At first, things were going well. Zeno started to copy his friends, doing all the normal-ish, normal zebra-ish things. <coughs> they did. He walked like a zebra, spoke like a zebra. You're so grown up now, his parents said. Isn't it better to be normal like anyone else, like everyone else? But Zeno didn't think so. No matter how much he tried to act normal, he still felt like, like a part of him was missing. Zeno's friend noticed that he wasn't feeling happy. He missed the f- all the fun he used to have with his friend. Zeno, his friend said, I don't care what you are, zebra or bat. You are brave, you are kind, and you are my friend, because you are. His friend was right. Zeno knew what he had to do. The next day, as soon as he woke up, he put his back cape on, back on. The new zebra saw him and called out, Looks, looks like Zena the bat is acting weird again. But Zena, he knew just what to say. I like wearing my cape, he said. If you don't like it, You don't have to wear it. The new zebra was shocked. No one had ever spoken to him like that. He paused for a second and then he asked Zeno a question. Can I try it on once? Zeno couldn't believe it. He took off his cape and threw it over his new friend. Together they squeaked and flapped their wings and thanks to Zeno's dad fixing the tree branches they even hung upside down for the rest of the day 
That was so much fun, said Zena's new friend. I can't wait to get a cape of my own. When Zena waved goodbye to his new friend, his parents came up behind him and in their very own back capes. They gave him a great big hug. As long as you're happy, you can be anything you want to be. We love you, Zena.